Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 12th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as a look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, it's been very busy. We've seen about three or four M-class solar flares, and as well minor C-class solar flares over the past 48 hours and a lot of them in an earth-facing position. We've got quite a bit of activity coming by the 13th here of October. Looking at the last 48 hours, incoming imagery, large plasma filament ripping away there on the right-hand side. Another cresting sunspot as well. Looking a little bit active. Quick look at the last 48 hours outgoing. And we've got that large sunspot, multiple sunspot region getting ready to turn away after firing off four M-class solar flares over the past three days. Three of them in the past 48 hours. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, showing the last two days of events, pointing out very active regions. And as well, large plasma filaments across the southern hemisphere. Two large plasma ropes stretched across. Having a look here at another light, and we can see the darkened regions, which are coronal holes. There's not much to talk about. A couple minor in the northern hemisphere and as well southern hemisphere just developing in the last few images there. Amazing imagery here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. You can also see those plasma filaments I was talking about, plasma ropes straight across the southern hemisphere, one across the northern hemisphere too. And another quick look here at the solar flares. Watch for those bright flashes in that big sunspot region. And as well, a couple more following behind. Solar X-ray flux Heading down into B range just now after shooting off two C-class solar flares today, but you can see it has been very active. Geomagnetic activity remains low. KP of 1. Real-time solar wind was sitting at 375 kilometers per second after being up over 600 for the past couple days. Dropping right down ahead of some more space weather. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing the latest event taking off from our sun. And we are set to get a glancing blow 13th into the 14th. Quick look at Alaska 2 showing all of the solar weather taking off from our star. So it has been very active, pulsing C-class and M-class solar flares. Schumann resonance for today power of 17 as most it's been up in quite some time amplitude of 17 quality of 14 power of 11 now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as we are sitting over 240 earthquakes across the usgs map we're going to start out here with all of the deep earthquakes in fiji that have occurred in the past 48 hours Look at that, one, two, three, four, five earthquakes, 499 kilometers and deeper. So we can definitely expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow. We haven't seen a very large earthquake in a few days. Largest was a 6.2 towards Easter Island. 4.0 earthquake there, Greymouth, New Zealand, as well as 4.7 Macquarie Island, 10 kilometer depth west of Macquarie Island. That was today. Most recent earthquake being a 4.5 here in Timor Leste. Be quick. And as well, activity here east of Taiwan, Naha, Japan. 4.9 here, Izu Islands, Japan. And as well, 4.3 there, Iwanai, Japan. 237 kilometer depth, though, pretty deep for the region. 5.0 Curl Islands, 4.8 Qinghai, China, 
quiet through the Ameri- the African plate and Europe. No major earthquakes to talk about. Quiet through South America, 4.7, the only earthquake, Oval, Chile. And strangely quiet through the Caribbean today. And then we've got some West Coast activity here across the U.S. Grapevine, California, 3.7, 12 kilometer depth, as well as 3.5, Walker, California. That is towards Lake Tahoe. Activity increasing across Alaska, and we were expecting it the last few days, especially with all those systems, atmospheric compression, earthquakes occurring all across the Alaskan Peninsula. New Unalaska, 4.5. So heads up, Alaska, a lot of activity occurring there recently, and we could see some more. Quick look around the world. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. As I said, the largest earthquake for the past seven days was a 6.2 west of Ascension Islands in the Atlantic, Central Atlantic. Other than that, most notable activity is Fiji with all of these deep earthquakes. Heads up, stay aware, prepared, my friends. We will see a larger shallow earthquake to follow all of these events within the next 24 hours, I'm sure. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery. As well, volcanoes getting updated today. Fuego in Guatemala. Sabancaya in Peru. Reventador in Ecuador. Nevada to Chile in Colombia. Swiss to Najima, Japan. Sangay in Ecuador. Nishinashima, Japan. Era in Japan. Popocatito in Mexico. And of course, Stromboli, which is probably at the bottom of the list right now, did produce quite an eruption. Overlooking satellite imagery around the world, drought conditions continue through the west. We have one tropical storm to talk about. Carl, who is heading or is going to stall there in the Gulf of Mexico. We've also got another tropical system here in the West Pacific, Central West Pacific. Tropical Depression 21 is alive and is set to head west towards Taiwan in the long-range forecast. Many, many flood alerts across the world right now. Every continent is receiving these flood alerts. Notable there, Stromboli in Italy, large volcanic eruption two to three days ago. Now let's have a quick look at windy.com. I'm going to show you here the wind forecast for the next little bit. We've got a wind warning for tonight for Ontario. Very large low is sinking southward here over the next 48 hours. Watch for it to bring three large convergence lines. One of them will be coming around Ontario this Tonight, so strong winds, 70 to 90 kilometer per hour winds will be expected. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, two large systems heading into northern BC and Alaska for the long range. And then eventually watch for things to change across the west coast. A little bit of relief for the drought as you do have some rain coming. Pretty strong systems, windy systems here heading into the United Kingdom and as well northern europe through sweden finland having a look here at ventusky giving you a world weather forecast here is that large low pressure system center of the low is over northern manitoba right now huge trough line associated here and watch for those winds to come from the south and then some pretty cool temperatures on the back side of that forecast models for carl Shows it stalling there in the Gulf of Mexico. Snow will be falling through a couple of the northeastern United States, as well as Manitoba, uh, Ontario. Lots of snow falling this week as we are on the verge and well into fall. Having a look here across the west coast, 
no relief just yet small low off the coastline there but watch for things to change here in the long range big low coming in from the pacific center of the low will head towards alaska and then watch for everything to change as another low comes in behind that and ushers it down the coastline so lots of moisture heading your way northern bc and alaska as we've talked about already up to 400 centimeters of snow will be expected in alaska the yukon quick look here at the temperature forecast for the next little while as we'll be in the single digits through eastern parts of canada and then in the long range watch for minus double digits through the Pacific Northwest, Utah, down to Colorado, minus 10 expected in some areas. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains staying northward. No major systems affecting you this week. And no new tropical systems developing through the Atlantic right now. Overlooking Africa, same thing. Daily evaporation rains, equatorial region, and then watch for rain to move in through parts of Johannesburg and South Africa. Overlooking Europe, forecast showing snow through eastern parts of Europe in the long range, but watch for these large systems to come from the north. And then two low pressure systems heading into Spain this week. They could see some flash flooding with all of this moisture that will be heading towards them in the long range forecast. So heads up Spain and as well through Italy and the Mediterranean. Overlooking the West Pacific, Southeast China. One tropical center here developing for Saturday for Thailand. And another one here, interest, 97W will be grazing the Taiwan, the island of Taiwan, but then heading southward, well, maybe to ramp up, not sure what's going on, but stay tuned in daily forecasts. We've also got quite a system heading into eastern India, and that's going to be for next Friday into Saturday. Lots of moisture associated with that system. Overlooking Australia, down under. You've got another day or so of rain and things will clear out through eastern parts. But then watch for things to change here. Big low off the east coast of Australia. Set to bring in lots of moisture, strong winds towards Sydney, the coastline north of Sydney. And then things are going to really start heating up through northern territory. But the big story is big relief coming here through the Pacific Northwest and West Coast of the United States and Canada. A lot of moisture coming your way, and as well, a lot of snow. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next video now. Bye-bye. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.